remember going to the economic summit and uh, the College of Pharmacy being a topic of conversation. At that time, that might have been one of the first economic summits. It was sort of a, a big audacious idea at the time to have a pharmacy school, but it started coming together. And, and one group had as one of its primary focuses the, the whole idea of what do we need to do to help this College of Pharmacy to be a reality. After the summit, this same group of people started meeting regularly. We just couldn't pull it off, but somehow we got the idea to prove the economic impact of it. And I believe it was 30 to 40 million or something like that. And boom, all of a sudden, the business community got involved. And, and everybody's saying the exact same thing. What can I do to help this to be a reality? I think it, it would have been very difficult uh, to have been as successful as quickly if we hadn't had the Economic Summit as one of the foundational environments that helped get our college started. What's been fun for me is to be able to go back to the Economic Summits each year and uh, getting an opportunity to share, you know, this is working. Uh, we have now graduated three classes of uh, pharmacy students that are now pharmacists all over the United States. It's, the economic impact has far surpassed what we originally estimated. The group took a look at what was needed, what we felt like was needed in infrastructure in order to move the city and the county forward. And did we need new wastewater treatment plants? Did we need in, uh, to increase the size of the water lines? Obviously the Booms Creek interchange and the great interchange were inadequate as we stood then. Where were their properties that were available for industrial and commercial development? And we had about 14 sites that when we had our, our own infrastructure committee meeting, um, in attendance were the mayors of both the county and the city. Uh, staff from the planning part. We know that uh, the Boone's Creek interchange uh, is under design. We know the gray interchange is just about ready to begin. Uh, we have assurances from City Public Works and City Water and Sewer that along those corridors we can handle development. We have seen uh, an addition of the Sanders property down in uh, Jonesboro to that industrial park. We would have to do this type of legwork for everybody that came to town. And that's not a good image. That's not the kind of image I think Johnson City and Washington County wants to portray. But the health care issue is a big, big issue for, for businesses. And the more we can do as a community to kind of diffuse the concerns and lower the risk of that, uh, so we started what we called Up and Adam. And the real intent was to provide broader and bigger activities that families could come together and be active together. Uh, one is our beloved Turkey Trot. And that grew, this is our seventh year. Our first year we had 700 people. We're planning for 4,200 this year. We got involved with the summit then because it was such a large community event. And it began to look, and it, and it was really a part of the health and wellness infrastructure of the community. So the whole family comes down and participates in this. And so it really speaks to me that the reason it's gotten, gotten as big as it is is because families want to come out. So, from an economic development standpoint, it makes sense that we do something in a, in a larger framework to try to make changes here in the area that we, we have some control over. So we don't want it to stop with secondary, but if it does, we want there to be some type of certification that a student takes with them for a job. Uh, a 
love the fact that we have a great neighborhood type community. We have sidewalks, we have neighbors that know each other, neighbors that love each other, neighbors that take care of each other. Uh, I can walk to a farmer's market twice a week, I can ride my bike to a farmer's market twice a week, I run every day, and I can run safely wherever I want to, I don't have any fears of anything like that. I think it's a great place to live if you're trying to raise a family or if you're single, there's tons to do. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of friends from and then up north in Vermont and Connecticut and they'll come to visit us and they're just blown away by the beauty of the mountains, how close it is and how it's not crowded. We get tourists, we get a lot of people coming to visit our mountains, but you're never going to wait in line. Continuing to Damascus, home of the Virginia Creeper Trail. One of the uh, first uh, big projects that we worked on was an outdoor recreation guide. And this came about as a result of why people travel to, to our region. And obviously outdoor recreation is a huge component in, in that. And so uh, through the economic summit, we were able to uh, print and produce and distribute um, an outdoor guide that showcases virtually every component of outdoor recreation, not only in Johnson City and Washington County, but in the region. Outfitters and other other organizations, you know, have seen you know some good results, you know, from that from the outdoor guide, and and many of the outfitters even uh, distribute that brochure for us. Welcome to the Southern Dozen ride number one, the snake ride. I think that um, the other thing that we can tie, you know, some great success to, is our Southern Dozen uh, rebranding effort. And um, because of Summit Dollars, we have been able to produce um, 12 videos that we have linked to a YouTube channel uh, that highlight some of the, the great um, scenic areas, if you will, and some of the neat restaurants and things along those 12 different rides. It has gotten uh, been picked up by Google, and uh, that has then produced you know, some additional uh, campaigns for us as well as, you know, internationally it has, has been picked up. And we are trying to, to make sure we take advantage of Southern Dozen while it's still hot. Uh, we have meetings with lots of different peoples from lots of different segments of the research environment. and. Um, and maybe next time you put a camera in my face, we'll be announcing that big um, uh, discovery or that big partnership. Uh, it's something that I think we got the right people, and when the timing is right, I'm confident the timing will be right. I think the people that work in the summit need to get the message out that it's not going to be as easy to grow as it was before. It's going to be far more competitive than it's ever been. Um, it's a buyer's market. It is a, a, an incredibly positive message to say, gee, we're going to have an energetic, healthier workforce if we, if we locate there. Look at the things that they're doing. It's going to be tough for us to compete with the larger cities or with cities, period, um, with the number of fields that we have currently at one site. You know, we want to be able to be, have all those folks stay in Johnson City and spend their money here in our county. Um, I think that the need for softball fields, and we have expressed that both to the city and to the Parks and Rec Board, and I think now it's on their radar screen. Another thing that we feel is very important to us as a community is, you know, gateway signage and directional signage. Uh, the signage all around our city is very confusing and um, it's, there's nothing consistent about it. I, th I think the summit um, group can serve a as um, a group that, that recognizes the importance of those projects and then serves as an advocate. You know, the economic development that has come out of this in the last decade is tremendous. Uh, we're going to do so much in this region in the years to come. I just want to be a part of it.